What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how this pistol type slots can just dominate man coverage in Madden 22. So if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go in and sub and turn on post notifications. Mm. So I want to start off by saying that Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas. I hope you're spending time with your family. And I truly appreciate you guys that are actually checking out my videos as of right now, as of the day it releases because it just it just means a lot to me man and i, I love you guys for real like y'all you know y'all are the best biggest blessing i have you know just y'all rocking with me you know and i really wanted to say how much i appreciate you guys and i hope you really are enjoying your christmas and time with your family but anyways um let's go on and get started so this pistol type slots man it's really nice so the playbook that we're in is the dolphins playbook again we're in a dolphins playbook and this formation right here, I think it's one of the best uh, pistol tight slot. Uh, not pistol tight slots. I think it's one of the best pistols in Madden. And the reason why I do is for a couple. Years. I know I say it on a lot of videos that this is the best pistol because um, there's a lot of pistols that's really good on this game. But the reason that it is because this RPO flat wheel is honestly really really good. Now I know you guys know the RPO flat wheel by this point, but what's specific about this one is that this particular one is only found in a Dolphins playbook. So like the pistol tight slots, the RPO, it's only in the Dolphins playbook and the way you can the way the reason i say this pistol is really good because you have a lot of different plays you can mix in with it so for example um they actually have a good counter they have you know the dive of course but they also have this pa post shot which is really really glitchy and i'll be showing you that how glitchy it is in a little bit here and also they have this bent switch which you can create a nice a lot of nice combos with so they really and also this stick space and it's really really nice um stock and i'll be talking about all that in part two so far, part one it's only going to be talking about man coverage all right only man because that's mostly what you'll get now when you start moving the ball dissecting they're going to start playing zone and that's when part two is going to come to effect so i'm probably am going to do a part two on this formation so if you want to see part two just please drop a like that's all i ask because that's how i judge if you guys like the video or not i actually look at the likes so i do appreciate that and also if you want to comment please i love hearing from you guys you know so just you know anything you know tell me anything i, I like hearing from y'all i really enjoy it but let's actually come out rpo reflat now i'm actually going to come out in 335 normal since that's probably what you'll get and i'm just going to start off by talking about just cover two man because that's you know that's what i want to talk about first now what i'm gonna do is just kind of you know pinch my defense that's normally what people would do and i'll normally just play some style of covers like this now um there's two things i like to do with this play so either a i like to run a stock or b i like to incorporate motions so first i'm gonna show you stock in case you still don't know about this play and how glitchy it is so basically if they don't really pass commit um, even if they pass commit, I think it still actually gets open, which I'm going to test out here in a second, but they really have to go use it. It's a legit glitch in the game. Um, it's been in the game for a while, actually, now, and I guess they just don't want to fix it. Even if you put a purple over there and you pass commit, a lot of times that they still just kind of play a little weird. Um, but I think this might be the answer if you were wondering about the answer. So even still, so if you have time, you see how triangle, you can still pass lead that. Um, and also, there's things we're going to be talking about here. So if they want to play that style of man coverage, they just, they're going to be screwed regardless. But... Uh, what I want you guys to see exactly is that um, this is just really good, you know. So they're going to have to kind of like put a safety on the purple, purple. Keep in mind, this would be like the user, right? So they're going to have to kind of play some style of coverage like this just to have a chance. And you can tell Square still got wide open. So there's just, it's, it's, it's a little glitch, you know. Um, I just didn't have time to throw it. I was trying to throw it, but I got, I got, I just got hollered at, which that does happen from time to time. Um, where you just kind of get hollered at and you just can't throw the ball. But what I was trying to tell you guys is that like, it, it just caused a lot of confusion, you know, see right here, like that's literally a wide open touchdown and it's going to be cases like that that happens pretty much all the time. Now, um, not, last thing I kind of want to talk about is I really love incorporating this motion right here. So what's going to happen is that you're still going to have triangle that's going to get wide open as long as they don't like pat and if they start pass committing the reason i like this formation because they have some really good run plays like they have the dive they have that counter which works really well against man coverage they also have i, think, I believe they have the delay like halfback delay i believe they have and last thing i want to talk about before i show you some gameplay is actually uh what if they play zone so i still like motioning this guy over even for zone coverage because sometimes you can have circle right uh, right off the break sometimes um it just depends on what they're playing but I want to go back and replay, kind of show you what I mean by that. And then after that, I'll be showing you gameplay right after replay. Because I really want to get into these passing concepts. But I wanted you to understand just how good this play is, honestly. So, uh, you, you can tell I could have had this right here. So, if they don't pass commit, you're going to have this all day, every day. Honestly, that's an easy throw to make. Uh, just pass lead it outside. You definitely can make that. 
But what I was wanting you to uh, see why I like this motion is because what's going to happen is it's going to widen out both of these two. So sometimes, depending on what they're doing, you actually can have this throw right here. So you see how the defender gets blocked by the lineman? A lot of times, if they don't call that penalty, um, if he's not all the way down the field, you'll be able to throw circle like as soon as right here. You know, you be able to throw it. You can kind of pass lead the inside, which I'll try to show you that now. No promises that I'll actually complete it because practice mode just be on some different stuff sometimes. <laughs> um, so... Uh, it's just something to look for, you know, so let's go ahead and take a motion him over and I'm gonna try circle now That's not saying he's gonna get open. I just I just want to see if they'll let me throw it um, Yeah, okay, so they didn't but anyways uh, check out this gameplay So uh, the play I really want to talk about now is gonna be this PA post shot now this play is absolutely money versus pretty much everything, honestly. It's it's, it's really an everything beater. Um, now, not for one play touchdown for everything, but it can beat a lot of coverages. And I really might dive into this specific play and then a couple more other plays on a part two. But for this one, I only want to talk about man coverage. So what you want to do, um, it all depends on what they're doing, how to drop in the purples, who you have in this spot, who you have in this spot, and who you have in, in this spot right here. But uh, as a basic setup, what I love to do is take triangle, put them on a slant. Then I like to take X. I like to put him on a, either an option route or I like to put him on a um, curl route. So if I'm using a slant, I'll probably use a curl route and then I'll take R1 and actually put him on a swing route just to get him out the way. Um, and now with this setup right here, you really just want to look for um, your first read is always going to be the slant. And then second read is going to be here. And then your third read is going to be here, right? So the reason I like this setup, I should say too, um, you you can, um, what happened? Here? Hold on. Okay, there we go. I actually uh, motion wrong one. So, the well, reason I like this setup is because you actually can glitch out this uh, half right here. You can actually potentially have a one play touchdown. But if you want to glitch him out, you should just take X actually and just put him on a. Um, you can put him on a check and release. I like those two. Um, and we got a nice little slant flat combo. And then we have a nice little high low with the um, deeper crosser route. And we have, you know, the swing route that's going to pull down zones. So if you want to actually glitch out that uh, deep half, then kind of watch that deep half, right? So you see how he moves and he shuffles his feet in? Um, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, right there, um, I would actually suggest you put your best receiver right there. So whoever that is. So if that's a Julio, if that's a Tyreek, if that's a Devontae Adams, if that's, you know, I don't know, Odell, you know, put him right here. Because what's going to happen is this slant is actually going to move this deep half safety. So you notice the deep half? Um, he's going to start shuffling out towards this slant, and you can tell what's happening right here. This crosser is actually going to keep the safety right in the middle, right? So what you can tell is that we have this wide open gap right here that we'll be able to hit as long as he is better than him. As long as he's better than him, you'll be able to complete that for a one-play touchdown if, you know, um, if you have the time to pop it, of course. Now, the good thing about this concept is that slants of course we know is going to get open now the good thing about this slant is that look he's actually off the ball so what does that mean it means he really he can't get pressed off the line so he's going to be able to have a free release you see that so you notice how you know elijah Moore he gets pressed you notice how uh, he can't get pressed so we only have one receiver who can get pressed which is why this formation is actually really really good because we have two people who are off the ball actually he's on the ball but they based on alignment like they they won't let the cornerbacks actually line up right there so he normally always gets a free release and he's going to get a free release right here and he's the only one that doesn't, but this route is just so good against man coverage that it's going to cook most coverages. So what your opponent is going to have to do, right, is going to say, okay, well, I'm going to put a purple over here to account for that slant. I'm going to put him in the middle third, and I'm going to go follow circle. So I'm going to man myself up a circle, kind of mimic that, right? So he's like, okay, this should be defense against this play. So let's go back to PA post shot. Now, remember that setup, and I'm going to show you another setup too. Don't worry, I got y'all. So triangle on the slant. I like to put X either on the, um, either on an out. Or I'll put them on the check and release if I think they might be blitzing me. If I'm not sure if they've been heavy blitzing me, I may do that. And I'll take R1 and put them on a swing route. Or you can leave the play action. It's up to you. Sometimes I do like to leave the play action to suck the user down. And then also you want to go ahead and motion that guy out. And also I have a couple other setups I do want to give you as well. So let me just go ahead and show you that. So what I wanted to show you this for is because watch that deep half. Because I'm in middle third. So you can actually throw it right past that middle third. And if your receiver is better than that cornerback, then basically it's a foot race at that point and you could potentially bomb you know a middle third safety which is you know it's really crazy that it's easy to bomb middle thirds on this game so it's almost useless to even put them but all you want to do is basically just wait until this receiver right here is actually even 
with um you know that safety so you want to wait till right before he crosses face so you see how he's about to cross his face and i'm throwing the ball because you want to throw him open because in madden for some reason they just automatically make the safety go behind the receiver so kind of watch so you see how he's right here and he's going to kind of you know glitch a little bit and that's going to give us that freedom and that room to throw this ball all the way out there so like i said this setup is just really really great because it's going to bust a lot of coverage it's going to make him play man coverage hard so now keep in mind um between this play and PA post shot, you're gonna really stress the opponent. Like they are really gonna have a hard time trying to guard you. Why? Because we can motion this guy out if we want to, you know, and, and it looks just like, you know, this play right here, you know, the um looks just like this play, you know, because you can still do the same motion. So that's why I said that this this little mini scheme is actually really, really overrated, honestly. So uh another setup that I do like too is if they start trying to play like a double purple and it's really giving me problems, like the user's just really good and you know, they're just really giving me problems. They're shading over the top, and it's just, they're making life hard, right? So, what I like to do is just take X, I'll take him, put him on a curl. I normally take R1, and I actually put him on an option route, right? Or sometimes I'll take X and do a double option route. Um, now, that's only if, like, the ball is on the other hash, and actually the running back goes to the other side. But if he's not, then I'll take him, put him on a um, swing route. And either A, I'll do it like this, or B, I'll take him, put him on a curl. So, you might be thinking, well, why would you do that? So, what's going to happen is a lot of times people are going to zone drop that purple out there, to account for that backside slant. So this one right here, they're gonna drop this purple right here to account for your backside slant that you're running. So when I notice that, what I'll do is I'll actually just put X on an uh, option route. And what's gonna happen is that purple's gonna get pulled down by the option route. And that's gonna open up this throw right here. So hopefully I have time in the pocket to be able to show you guys uh, who's that getting the instant shit. I didn't have time to throw it, but I'm actually gonna run it one more time. I'm gonna spy that guy and throw it. But essentially what you're gonna be looking for is, is that middle player? So is this guy right here better than the DB? If he is, then this throw right here is definitely very realistic. You could easily make this throw, especially if they're shading over the top. You have to pass this ball down and you have to hit a possession catch. So I'll be able to show you that here in a second, actually. So let me just kind of run it, um, simulate what you'll see. So you start getting this kind of cover shell a lot. Um, now, keep in mind, if you're getting this kind of cover shell too, then this this right here will actually be open 100%. I'm not going to say 100 because it's Madden, but 90. This throw right here will be open 90%. But let's say you wanted to switch it up, right? So what I'll do put him on an option route, take my running back, put him on a swing route, and let's just pretend that, um, like I said, he is just, you know, the user doesn't zone drop correctly. They're trying to count for the slant. You don't run the slant. And then just look, even though Stokes is faster than him, sometimes you can still uh, make that play. Like I said, you just need a good receiver right there. That's honestly it. Um, so be very careful. That's not an automatic man beater route. It's just if you have a good receiver or a faster receiver than that DB, then it's a really good route. Um, but with a good throw, it still can get open if that makes sense. So let's go back to PA post shot. Now, another thing I like to do is actually take X. Like I said, I like to put him on a curl. Then I'll take R1 and I'll actually put him on a like a out or I put him on a swing to the uh, to the two receiver side. Now from here, what I like to do is actually go ahead and motion my receiver out. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna make that route uh, ran a lot longer. So if you have a speedster right here, he's gonna be able to outrun that DB. So that's why you actually wanna motion him out. And then also it's gonna actually incorporate into part two. So there's a lot of motions with this offense. And from here, I'll probably take triangle, put him on a slant. And really what you're looking for with this setup, you're looking to hit that curl route every single time because what's going to happen is they're going to be shading over the top in their man coverage. And anytime that you shade over the top in man coverage, curl routes are just going to be open. Now, I'm going to throw that curl really late, of course. <laughs> of course, I'm going to go to replay talk about it, though. Then that's pretty much going to be the video. So let's go and hop into the replay because every time I try to throw something, I always get screamed at. But anyways, um, actually, before I do that, uh, after I show this replay, I'm actually going to show you gameplay. And that's going to be the video. So after the gameplay, that's the video. So, yeah. Just want to make sure I get that out there. So what, what's going to happen is that purple is going to drop for that slant. And then you'll be able to throw this. You'll have this pretty much every single time. So kind of watch. So you notice how he is behind him. That's because you're, he's shaded over the top. And he's doing that. You'll have this throw. You just want to low ball it. As soon as he come out of the break, low ball it, right? Now, if they have a spy, what you'll do is on the snap of the ball, you'll just move this way. And that's going to move that spy. You see how I move? And then you'll be able to low ball that pass. You know, it'll be just like that. And then also what I said is that this route up here up top is just really, really good in aspect. And then watch how he kind of, you know, runs his route a lot longer. So it's an easier throw, basically, because you're working with the sideline, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyways, uh, I believe that's everything, though. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out this gameplay at the end. But anyways, I'm Rage Rail, and I'm out.